Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Today it's to do with diesel heater and voltage. And the reason why I'm putting this up, there's still a lot of confusion out there about the voltage required for a diesel heater. Now I'm not in my motor, I'm in the garage. And in my garage I have one of these portable 5 kilowatt diesel heaters, which is sitting here. And I run it from a car battery, or a leisure battery which there's one sitting there it's a 70 amp one it's not a very big one and what I do I run it and then I recharge it using a normal car battery charger now it's it's a standard sort of heater I'll put put this light on so hopefully you can see it there's a display there there's the outlet which you can put on these tubes to direct it and I use that in my garage to direct it you know around different parts of the garage it's just sitting there it's got a built-in fuel tank on the top I think it's yes yeah, five kilowatt model let's have a look fuel 12 volt 40 watt no, 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 no. Uh, one to five kilowatt it says depending on the setting so it's a five kilowatt unit and there's the battery it's a 70 amp and it's just sitting there and uh, I disconnect the fuse so it dis doesn't discharge the battery just for the display and um, what I'll do I'll get it started for you but what I'll do is I'll put a voltmeter on the battery so you can see the voltage it starts with and what happens to the voltage when it's running and the easy way I can do that is on my bench I'll run some wires up so I've got a couple of terminals here negative and positive 12 volt that goes directly to the car leisure battery the, the other one goes to a ground stake outside for my earth and what I'm going to do I'm going to show you the start voltage what happens with the heater when it's running okay so the multimeter is now connected it's on voltage DC and it's going straight to the battery so that's the voltage don't know whether that will stop down there I can hook it somewhere. Let it stand. Probably stand there. Right. So, oh God, the lighting is terrible in this garage. Apologies. Right. It's reading. God, the reflections. Twelve point four seven volts. That's the starting voltage on this battery to run this heater. I'm just going to put the fuse in here. <coughs> put that fuse in. Right. Right, the fuse is in. So the display is on and you can read that. That's good. Right. Voltage is 12.45. Now, during this test, um, it's a very crude test, but it's my diesel heater it's got the wiring has not been shortened and it's not been lengthened it's the wire that was supplied with this heater and it's tucked all the way around the back so I didn't want to cut it off and it runs through here and around the back and all sorts of directions so you can just see hopefully I've got it in my hand there and there's a bit of the cable all right I'm now going to switch on all right and we'll see the voltage so there's the button there I'm going to switch on and when I do that, we will monitor the battery voltage. Right, it's just clicked. And it says on. Okay. It's now down to 12.16. So will it start at that voltage? So the heater plugs on and that's symbolized by okay, can I see it? this there's a red mark in there which is the heater fans going it's not pumping yet this is just showing the air is flowing into it right. 
battery voltage is down to under 12 volts It's just ticking now. Yeah, that's the pump there, and that's the heater. It's 11.9 volts now on that battery. That's doing that. The temperature in the garage, the temperature in the garage is 13.5. 11.9192 volts on the battery. We've got one heat symbol coming up now just lukewarm it's going faster still 11.9 volts on the battery got two symbols on the heat setting now just here we've got two yeah it's just a little warm you need three or four on the heat setting the speed's increasing Still 11 point, 11.89 actually volts. got three heat settings now So this business about 14 volts people keep talking about is misleading. You don't need 14 volts. Because 14 volts, 13.8, 14 volts is like a fully charged battery. Now 14.2 at the maximum. So that just proves it. You don't need 14 volts. Because I haven't got 14 volts. up to got one red bar now just about to see on the display very light so it's really up to full power now and it's been on uh, six minutes oh yeah 
that's that's working. I'll get it running for a few seconds. I'll give it a few more minutes, and then what I'll do, I'll do a shut down. Now then, the heat has been running eight minutes now, and it's got full temperature reading. There. Two red bars, it's all sorry, yeah. it's been on eight minutes. The voltage is 12.06, and I'm going to go down in a shutdown procedure on this one. Alright, see if we can get it on the camera. Hold that button in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it flashes off. Right, so it's going down the shutdown procedure. And the heater, the low plug heater, is on and it's ticking, just ticking the pump. The voltage is now 12 volt. This is probably going to go down even more. There we go. Because it's got the glow plug on. And the glow plug on is part of the shutdown process. And what it does, it um, they pump little fuel into it. And the idea is it burns any residue inside the burn chamber. So you've got to let it go shut down on its proper procedure. There we go, there's a the voltage. And you should be able to hear it pulsing. Yeah. The fuel pump's now gone off. And it's just got the glow plug heater inside. And it'll keep going like this until all the hot air is actually blown out the heater. Take that off now. That fans coming up because it's cooling it down and you have to let it do this until it's completely off and it normally clicks when it goes off right glow plugs off voltage is back up 12.14 12.15 and uh, the heat set heat bars here are gradually going to go down see it's only got like one red one now and that will start going down but i think that's probably about it i'll probably just uh, film the last part um, when it's almost at its switch off point okay 12.18 volts the heat has been running 12 minutes. We're down to three bars. So it should shut off any minute now, I think. It takes a long, long time to shut down. And hopefully I'll be able to record the click when it finally goes. If your diesel heater is um, mounted under a bench you might not hear the click when it goes off there we go and the fan stops so that is now off and what we can do now we can just check the temperature with this button here so it's 18 degrees 26 degrees 12.5 so this display actually measures the battery voltage and it's saying that's 12.5 this end and this is 12.2 I would say this is a more accurate of the meter the voltage reading so it says 12.28 here and 12.5 there now because I run mine from the battery and this display can takes power when it's not being used I just pull the fuse out like that and just leave the fuse there this is all original wiring the only difference here is I've run a couple of wires up to these terminals so when I can charge the battery I just plug my charger in here and hook it onto these terminals 
So that's the test over with. So you don't need 14 volts for your diesel heater to work. And uh, yeah, it's good to have more voltage. So thanks for watching. Oh, forgot to mention priming of the burn chamber. Now, once you've installed your heater, you only need to prime it to get the fuel initially through the pump. If there's a bit of air in the pipe and the heater's working, ignore it, it will still work. Um, if you've got a fault with it and you keep priming it, all you're doing is filling and flooding the burn chamber, similar to having the choke pulled out on your car for too long. And the only way to get round that is to decarbonise it and don't keep priming it. So the worst thing you can do with these is keep priming. You don't need to prime at all, you know, once they're installed properly, unless you run out of fuel and then you have to prime the fuel line. So thanks for watching, please subscribe and like.